we have a fresh six we need to talk about. That's right, a fresh six. But before we talk about this fresh six, I need you to stay right there, let the intro play, and then we gonna jump right into these six, all right? So don't go nowhere. Back to doing another video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. I'm not gonna be before you long. I got some studying to do, but we got a fresh six we need to talk about. Before we get into that fresh six, you know the rule. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video, all right? If you share the video, I really do gratefully appreciate it. Thanks for the help, all right? But comment down below, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. Don't care which one you do. Don't care which one, thumbs up or thumbs down. But it's important that you comment and you hit the like or the you hit the like or the dislike button. Don't matter. All right. Now listen up. These first six that we're going to talk about, we're going to start right now with this one here, from the House of Sergio Ticini. Now a lot of you heard me talk about the original club. Love that fragrance. In a year's time, I went through half of a hundred mil bottle, half of it. It's a dumb reach, man. It's in that Blue de Chanel, the Aqua Senziali Blue Line. It's in, that, it's in that ballpark, that same ballpark, but it's just so cheap. It's cheaper than both of them. And it's good. It smells really, really good. This one on the other hand is called Club Intense. Now this one here is more or less for the spring, early spring, fall, and winter. Cause it's a little bit more warmer, a little bit woodier, um, it starts off with some bergamot, of course, like most fragrances do. It's bergamot, some cypress, tobacco, nutmeg, and then it goes down to the base that has some amber and some cedar. All right. So that's this, and I, I think I spent, I think it's less than twenty bucks for this fragrance. Yeah, it's just a nice woody fragrance, man. That's that's really easy to wear. You can get away with wearing this in the winter time. I mean, I'm sorry. You can get away with wearing this in the uh, summertime as well. Especially if it's not gonna be hanging out outside and, th and stuff like that. You're gonna be more or less inside. Very easy to wear. You can tell it's very crowd pleasing. Yes. Again, that citrus, cypress, that sweet top to it. You're getting the nutmeg, you're getting those spices, the nutmeg, you get the tobacco a little bit. And you get that amber and that see that woody, woody, that sweet woody background. This Sergio Ticini house is starting to make a, a name for himself again. It's starting to come back full circle again um, when it comes to the track suits. A lot of people are now wearing these track suits again. You can find them on Amazon and places like that. But I'm talking about the fragrance. This fragrance, as well as the re the original club. Great smell of fragrance. Now I might be having to pull this one out because it's still cold, man. It's March 28th, man, and it's like it's winter time outside. It's actually snowing right now. Damn, it's nice though. That smells really good. Now I don't know about the longevity. Haven't had a chance to wear them or anything like that, so don't know about that. But this one here, if it's anything like the original, the the, the price on this, you can spray heavily and not. Miss a, miss a beat because you're not really spending that much money. You can get another bottle of this. Um, and I think I got this from Fragrance Net. So um, I haven't seen these in the rack store, so you have to get it online. But this is Sergio Ciccini, um Club Intent. That was the first one. All right, put this back in the box. And if I didn't show you the box, there it is there. That's how it looks. Very good fragrance, man. Very nice, smells good. All right, next one. This one has been slipping through a lot of people's fingers, man. And it didn't really get that much love at the beginning stages, but now because it's so hard to find, everybody and their mother tried to get their hands on it. And it's going for a pretty penny now at certain sites on certain places on, on eBay, places like that. The prices are jacked up. But this is from the house of Albert Cambria and Fitch, and this is First Instinct. Picked this up at TJ Maxx. There's a box right there. First Instinct on the side. So with this one, you got a star fruit, some violet leaves, amber, 
some musk, some pepper, and some suede. Now the original First Instinct, which I had for a long time, I think I wore that thing one time, period, once. It was very sweet, this is nice. God damn. You get that, vi that a sweet violet note, and that sweetness coming from the star fruit. And that amber. It's musky, it's got some spice to it from the pepper. And it's so smooth and leathery with that suede. Oh, this is nice, man. This is nice. First instinct. Intense or extreme. Extreme. I'm sorry. I said intense. Extreme. First instinct extreme. I picked this up at TJ Maxx, man. They starting to find this way there again. But I picked this up at TJ Maxx. 1.7 ounce. I think it was like 20 bucks. But this is nice, man. I might have to wear this to work tomorrow. This is super nice. Yeah. Damn. That's that's nice. Oh yeah, I like that. All right. Moving along. Again, I'm I'm not going to be before you long today. So these videos got to be quick and short because I got some studying to do, man. I got a couple weeks to get this get this course done. The next one becoming one of my favorite houses. Period. One of my favorite houses. I'm serious. Say it with me. Trisadi. Trisadi. Reflesso. The original Reflesso. This one is so damn good, man. And this is an EDT, but it smells so good. Um, and I'm saying that because I have, in my last haul, I had Streets of Milano. And from what I understood, this one is actually the same juice that's in Milano. And the Milano smells so damn good. So if that's in that, if that's just a, a bottle or, or a collection item or some type of promotion for Streets of Milano, I already know what this smells like, but I had to get the original. I had to have my hands on the original. This supposed to be similar to YSL Lanley Reed Alone. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Streets of Milano was hella good. Very, very appropriate for weather like this. Winter, spring, um, winter, early spring, definitely fall. But again, as I always say, if you're in a, a temperature controlled environment, you can wear a fragrance anywhere. And that goes for this as well. Look at that juice color. Nice and dark. Trasadi, man. They just make some classy, like, man fragrances. Fragrances that you know a boss or a CEO would definitely be splurging on. You don't have to spend a million dollars, man, to smell like a boss. This puts you in that, in that spot where People look at you and be like, yo man, what you wearing, man? That smells real good. This gonna be that one, especially, I, I said extreme, but if it's cold like it is today, I'm wearing this. Forget that first instinct extreme. This to me, smells better than that. This one, green apple, tonka, lavender, violet leaves, leather. It smells like it has like honey, man. Damn, this is good. I love Reflesso, bro. This is good. Damn. There's only two people, or one person I actually know that talks about Trasadi. Well, two, exactly two. Daniel Chalk talks about him a lot. And then my boy Trey also talked about it once. But the two that I'm talking about is Chris from um, um, Scentland. And of course, my brother Chad from A Gentleman's Journey. They talk about Trasadi a lot, man. Chad turned me on to Trasadi, and I'm telling you right now. The ones that I have, let me see. Okay, so I got this one now. I got Blue Vibe. I got Streets of Milano. I have Black Extreme. I think that's what it's called. I have Umo. I have two bottles of Umo. Uh, the Lariera collection, the one with the, with the Greyhound head. 
I also have Blue Land and I have that re the red one. It's like a red wine almost. I'm running with it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. Trasati is a very, very underrated house. Very underrated. Damn, this is super nice, bro. Here's the bottle here. Here's that cap. Got that, that crest from Trasati, the top. Oh, you can't go wrong with this fragrance right here, bro. If, you, if you're looking for a Languid de Lone, the original, back in the days, you ain't gonna find it unless you got Blue Electric. Yo, try this Trasati Reflesso. This one, the original or Streets of Milano, you can't go wrong. Gotta move. This one here, I picked up at uh, TJ Maxx. Me and my wife was at TJ Maxx and I saw this and I showed it to her and I, she really didn't understand what I was going with it with this. But I'm like, yo, this is I mean, discontinued because this fragrance house is no longer selling fragrances in the States. So, from the house of Sir Zutan, this is La Fille de Berlin or Berlin. See that? Let me get that up closer to you so you can see what it says. This one, roses, geranium, honey, uh, paramosa, moss, and patchouli. And I know I probably said that other name, that pomarosa, Palmar, something like that. And you know these Serge Luton bottles, they, they come similar to um, CK1 red. In though that line where it comes with the, the cap and then they give you the atomizer separately all right so let's go let's get right into it this is juice man I'm gonna tell you right now don't put don't spray this juice on a white shirt or any kind of light shirt because I'm guarantee it's gonna stain I just gotta tighten this atomizer down so I won't be spilling into this juice because again I heard they're not selling fragrances in the States any longer so anytime you can get your, if you can get your hand on these fragrances from Serge Luton, I suggest do so. Again, as I said with these notes, you got rose geranium, you have honey, paramosa, palamosa, and moss and patchouli. Let's see what I get out of this. There's a bottle there. Like I said, look at that juice. This is a dark plum juice, like a plum looking color. All right, let me find the atomizer. So I'll spray myself in the eye like Trace Sense, like Trace Sense already does. All right, let's spray it. All right. Heavy on the rolls. Sparkling though, from the geranium. Geranium gives to me, to my nose, and to my nose only, it gives me like a little sparkle to it. But it's a jam, like almost like a jammy rose. No, it's not jammy. It's, it's actually not. It's a sparkling rose. So I have Rose of Bulgaria for men, and it smells similar to this. That one's just a little bit more on the champagne side of things. This one is more on the honey, geranium, the moss is there. I don't get, I don't really get the patchouli. Maybe that's on the dry down. But I definitely, it's a lot of rose. It's a lot of rose. I love rose fragrances, man. I, I can wear rose fragrances. I don't care. I, I, lo I love rose fragrances. I just do. And I guess you got to be more experienced with the fragrances to actually understand it. And be comfortable enough to actually rock it. So, yeah, I can, re I can rock this, man. This is, this is sick. Again, I would just be worried about spraying this on a white shirt or some get around the shirt and that color start popping out. It's getting powdery too. It's like, it's getting powdery, but again, that honey and that rose is like prominent. The patchouli is starting to peek his head out too now too. It's getting a little dirtiness to it. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I can wear it. It's, it's nice enough to wear. It's definitely nice enough to wear. Again, if you're not comfortable wearing rose fragrances, you're probably not gonna dig this. You really won't. All right, let's get this back in the box. Let me see if I can take the atomizer off, and I think I do. Yeah, I gotta take the atomizer back off this thing. So I'm gonna put this to the side for now, and I'll deal with that 
after the video. All right. The next two, all right. The first one, I got a backup bottle too. The second one, I got a backup bottle too. All right, so I'll open one box so I can show you guys. So the first one up from the house of YSL. Yep, YSL. This is from the loan line. It's the Lamy Wheat the Loan La Parfum. Lamy Wheat the Loan La Parfum. Yes, sir. And again, just so you see, there's that back to the full. Back to the full. And these are 3.3 ounce bottles, 100 mils. All right, let's go. Let's stop playing around. Let's get into this, man. You get fruity notes, pepper. You also get in some lavender, some vanilla, some um, anise as well. Let's go. Get that atomizer. Ain't that spectacular? Wide bubble. Oh, this is sexy. This is sexy. Yeah, this is sexy. Oh man, nice sweet fruity top to it with some pepper. The lavender is there as well. It's sexy, bro. Oh, it's sexy. Yeah. Oh my God. Let me get this on the skin. Let me get this on the skin. So when I go upstairs and let my wife smell it, she can tell me what she think about it. All right. Yeah. So it's got that fruity top, but it has the lavender and that pepper. Give it a little spice and some weight to it. That vanilla, the sweetness, and again, that anise gives it some body. Gives it a lot of body. This is definitely different. If you, it's, it's completely to me, it's completely different than Lanny with the Lone, the original, and that Reflesso. It's completely on a different, different stratosphere. It's way out there. It's different. It's, it's a fruitier top. It's to me, this is a different fragrance altogether, and that's just me. That's on my skin. It doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the original Landry Reed alone, but it's sexy. And as sexy as that, um, or it's different, but it is sexy, just like that um, signature Royale X from Zahara Off. But back to this one. Um, this is just nice, man. It's super nice. Very good for date nights. Fall, spring, summer nights. You can get away with this, especially winter as well. It's just good for that season, that type of vibe. Date nights, date nights only. You might be able to get away with this on, you know, wind to like some type of formal event as well. But date nights, going out on a date, because this is just sexy. It almost has like a leathery feel to it at the back end as well. This is nice. Yeah. Lanny with the loan, La Parfum. Next one. From the house of Gucci. And this is Gucci Guilty Absolute. There's the first one. There's the second one. You get the right. You get, you get the point. Alright. Gucci Guilty Absolute. What can I say? Leathery, woody, cypress, vetiver, patchouli. Very earthy, and I'm not even spraying it yet. But from those notes, there's doesn't seem like the typical top notes of, of like a bergamot or some type of citrus note. Nah, this is mainly leather, woody, cypress, vetiver, and patchouli. The main notes. Let's go. Let's see what it is about. Trey loves the scent, man. Trey, I don't know, I don't know how often he wear it, but he's he loves it. I had to get my hands on it. There it is, right there. And this is, I think, been discontinued. 
But this bottle comes at that level. I haven't sprayed this bottle, I just opened it up. But it comes at that level right there where it's not completely full. I don't know if they've been doing that with all the other fragrances too. I think the last one I had, the Gucci um, Parfum. It's a black bottle, so you can't see inside. So I couldn't tell you. But anyway, there's the bottle, normal Gu Gucci or the, the typical Gucci Guilty bottle. Very thin. But the juice color is dark. All right, very dark. Let's get into it. And I will be spraying this on my other hand because I got Lanny with the long La Parfum on this one. And this is good, bro. That's good. But let's spray this one. Let's see what I get. First on paper. Oh, God, Lee. This is, this is a man's man scent right here. Yeah, this is, I can wear this. It's, it's a man's scent. It's very woody, very leathery. Yeah, yeah. I gotta put this on skin. I, I love the way it smells because it's just like I said, it's just woods and leather. Like, I'm a man, damn it. Put that on skin. Sorry if you look at the forehead. Yeah, see, it's different than on, on my skin. It almost gives a, it got a slight sweetness to it at the top. And it's a little green from the cypress. I'm getting that. Leathery, of course. Of course, leathery. Dirty from the patchouli. It's a dirty patchouli with and the vetiver. So it's definitely like earthy and dirty and leathery. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. I like this. Gucci. Guilty. Absolute. I like this. I think I'm going to wear this to work sometime this week. It won't be tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna be reflexo. Yeah, that's nice. Gucci guilty, absolute. All right. Listen, that was a six, man. All right. That was a six. This week, sometime, I'm gonna give you another four, another five, maybe. All right. I'm gonna give you another five we're gonna talk about. So don't go nowhere. All right. I don't need you to go on vacation. And if you do, make sure you got your phone. Notif uh, the notifications on your phone all along I'm going to get to you all right. But anyway I'm just joking around But listen I got another 5 coming up later on this week I want to thank you guys for watching It's your boy Sam Broom signing off Peace Back to doing another video